Am I not everyone? Alright guys, um, getting back from the Duel Links content once again, you guys can see, um, kind of going to be taking a break from Digimon, it's just become too grimy, so, but anyone that joins me today, I'm not going to kind of wait to open packs, I'm just going to kind of jump into it, got to get back to work on some stuff too, so hopefully we can get uh, retention for Duel Links again, I have shared this in Jurassic Impacts, or, sorry, Anime Impacts Discord, but at any rate, let's just go ahead and get right into it. See if we can get some good stuff. I'm wanting to definitely build the new water, um, the water fish deck. So I need three whales, I need three fishermen, and I want to get at least two of sea stealth. So that's going to be my priority. So I'm going to reset for legendary fisherman first. That's uh, the UR I need. I believe I only need one UR. Uh, yes. So also I wouldn't mind getting some of the new ritual support um, and maybe some arch beam support, but. That's going to be the goal for today, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, and since we have to do this bit by bit, I do have to um, hide my screen while I do this, so <laughs> hide my account info and all that good stuff. <clears throat> so, everyone's having an awesome day, as always. first three in a guaranteed SR. Hopefully we can get to some whales and some guaranteed SRs, but I'm not really too worried about getting the whale. My concern is definitely getting legendary fishermen, um, since obviously the URs are the super hard ones to get for dual links, so. I know I'm late on a day late opening. I probably would get a lot more viewers if, <laughs> if this was day of, but oh well. All right, so starting off with Alien Hypno. And fish for planter, alright. And so no SRs in the first three packs, which is kind of expected. So and then our guaranteed SR is going to be Warrior Atlantis. Actually, that's a really good pickup. I actually do need three copies of this as well, so for the deck. So I'm actually down, down for sure getting that card. So let's go on to the next sale, which is gonna be six packs and another guaranteed SR. Let's hope we'll be about 10 packs in, so let's hope we can get an SR naturally from the box, because remember the guarantees do not count towards your box reset. So. I know AMA pulled like fire. He was pulling like URs left and right. It was legit crazy. I saw um, his opening stream. He actually went pretty heavy. Got some donations. Good for the guy. So actually, I lost a little bit of money to water. Triple Karibo, finally. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is going to be at least a, a SR. Oh, we got the Cherry Fisherman off the bat. Oh, we're definitely resetting. We are definitely resetting right there. That is that is amazing right there. We got Legendary Fisherman off of the first two sales. Only nine packs deep. That is legit crazy good. Wow. I'll definitely take that. So I don't even care what the other cards are. All right, some ritual stuff. We got another ritual Karibo. Oh man, can we get a whale? If we get a whale on our guarantee, that'd be really awesome. All right, so the guarantee is gonna be, all right, Axe of Fools, probably one of the worst SRs. So, but we're definitely resetting after that. <laughs> 
You definitely got a reason after you get a Fisher in. Holy balls, that was good. That was so good. All right, let's go ahead and get 10 packs now. Oh man, that's so awesome. I was like, I was gonna just like strategically use my gems and I had to like use up all the sales before I got a fisherman to reset, but that makes, cause that's the only UR we need from the new set to build this deck. So the rest are just SRs, which I'm sure we can get that in the amount of gems and uh, and power of the credit card that we're gonna be using. So, all right, let's go on to the next one. So 10 packs, another SR, and especially because we're gonna, I think we're gonna get like, I think there's like eight levels or something like that, so we're gonna need eight SRs just off of guarantees. So let's hope we can get another legendary Fisher. <laughs> we get another legendary Fisher, we're for sure resetting again. I, I think we are. Um, so, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, triple Karibo, blue outline, and no, nothing there, unfortunately. All right, nothing. Our, I think that's pack number three over oh, ten. Still nothing good yet, but I I can't complain with my luck getting legendary fisherman in the first nine packs. That's really awesome. All right, we got a triple, but no outline, so probably won't be anything. Nope. Here's another another troll. Blue out. Okay, bam. Blue outline. Chance for another UR. It's a spell card. Could be salvage. Nope. It's another axe of fools. Okay. So SR just acts of fools. Nothing too great there. And then damage diet. I think it's like the game's telling me, I need to go back on my diet. I need to go back on my diet. Alright. Body D20. Alright. So nothing we got oh we did get one SR, so that's not terrible, I guess. What is what? We've gotten three acts of fools. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. Alright, we get a guarantee. Oh cool, we get a guarantee you are only level 4. That's not bad. I guess they have changed it from how it used to be. It used to be like, you had to go I think like 24 packs before you got a guarantee you are. So, but that's good. Um, this is only 12, so... We're only at like maybe like 20 bucks so far, so that's not that bad. So, I've been making a lot of money recently, so I got the funds to to go through on this set. I really want to build that water deck like as soon as possible. Um, I was using the the tilt the tilt uh, stall deck. Um, I just I kept playing weird weird matches in rank today. Um, I only did like five or six games so I was going like 50-50 but I was definitely doing better in the Kyber Cup which I still did just I didn't have the time to get top 600 unfortunately. I had to work all weekend. Uh, it's a very important weekend for work so all right, we got another Forbidden Arts. So I believe we'll be 22 packs deep into this this box reset. So let's see if we can get at least one UR pulled and 12 packs would be really good. All right, nothing. Just a triple Karibo troll. Here we go, another troll. And looks like, yep, another troll. Alien Hypno. And Pandemonium, all right. Bonding D20. Alright, there's... Oh, we might have got something. Nope, alright, but we did get the 1900 Alien. I'll take that. I don't think that deck's gonna be great right now, um, but we'll see. You know, that deck's... From what it seems, it's pretty easy to make in this set. It's like kind of like a free-to-play deck, it seems. Alright, here we go. At least getting one SR you are in this run. Oh, we got Citadel Whale. Well. Alright, that's awesome. So it's two... We actually got three... Three cards down of what we're needing. Three out of like the you need a lot from this set. It's like that that deck is like almost all this set. Alright, fisherman? Come on, that's what we want. We want a fisherman. Slight warrior, alright, I'll take that. It's that's a usable card. That's a very flexible card from this box set, so it's not too terrible. Oh, so you get way more of the URs and SRs, it looks like. Okay. So this is another UR guarantee 24, but no SR. So it used to be when you did 24, you would get like a UR and an SR. So I guess since they're giving you URs earlier in the line of the of the sales, that that's their kind of way of making up for it, I guess. I don't know. Konami. I'm not going to do regular packs, so it's just if I don't get enough to build the deck, I'll just have to just wait on it for a while. 
and just play some of the older decks in PvP for a while until we do an, they do another sale. So they'll probably do like a like a St. Patrick's sale, I assume, next month, or they could bring out another mini box like in two weeks because it's kind of in their trend, and then they'll add more sales to the old sets too. So I'll get another shot down the road. We do have quite a lot of gems we can dip into if we have to. So, so 24 packs. So this will get us pretty far down. We'll get down to about 150 packs, almost 150 through this run. Let's see if we can get another, and we'll still get another guaranteed UR. So another shot at another uh, fisherman. <clears throat> and we've got the triple troll again. Triple troll again. All right. Plasma ball. There's a device. All right. Hunter. No, still nothing. A lot of crap. A lot of crap. Yes. Wow, this is pretty bad actually for 24 packs. We we're not pulling very many SRs, which is there's 22 still left in this box, so it makes me kind of cut. All right, there we go. So here should be something, uh, probably an SR. No, still just a rare. Wow, we got a face pop up, and I believe that was a triple Kribo as well, and that was still just a rare. All right, here we go. This has got to be a UR. So, bam, rainbow. It's going to be a monster. It is going to be war, or no, just an SR, but it is a, pre it is a glossy warrior Atlantis, so that's not bad. Yo, Dante, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. I pull Legendary Fisherman, bro, on the first nine packs. Pretty lit. Pretty lit. But now we're, we're getting a lot of crap. A lot of crap now, unfortunately. And you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, like, and share this stream with all your friends and buds. Much appreciated. All right, I'm only here with Captain Gold. <clears throat> Another egg, egg mites. Rare. We have to pull at least three of that guys by now. Cell Reclamation Device. Moki Moki. That was a cool, I actually like that guy in the, the show. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Holographic. Oh, and no face, oh, the troll. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna be anything. I knew that wasn't gonna be anything when we didn't get a hollow for a face pop up. I knew it was gonna be just a rare. And there's another rare. Wow, this is really bad. We've only gotten one SR in the 24 pack lot so far. I have a feeling we're almost out too. Wow, still nothing, wow. Okay. Another devil. Wow, that was so trash. Wow. Okay, what's our guarantee gonna be? Salvage. Okay, didn't want that really at all. That was such crap. That was like beyond trash. Like, look at this. We haven't pulled a single UR. And we've only pulled two SRs, three SRs out of almost 50 packs. That's terrible. So we're gonna go ahead and definitely do this sale. Like, obviously we're not gonna be able to reset. <laughs> wow, that was so awful. That was so legit awful. Holy crap. Dude, interdimensional plants are purple, purple. There are any spike bees? Oh, what is that? Is that for fiends? Let's try it one more time. I'm not taking my, my password. All right, there we go. All right, we're back to it. All right, 36 packs now. 36 packs. Jeez, man. That was that was awful. Oh man, we better get fire now because that was a lot of. There's only. <laughs> There's 139 rares still left, but still, that was, wow, that was tilty awful. That was so awful, that lot. It's like the game's punishing me now for getting Legendary Fisherman so early in the box. And we're still getting crap, awesome. All right, come on, gotta be something. Come on, game, what is going on here? The 1900 Fiend, Vanilla, all right. And there's a 1900 uh, alien vanilla. 
Alright, here we go. It's gonna be something. Finally. Jesus, man. 30 packs later. Alright, Deuterion. Alright, that's the, uh, the dino. <sighs> the dino that searches out the bonding cards. Okay. Definitely not one of the SRs I want right away, but it's fine. Ginky Beast. Alright, here's a four Karibo. Give us something, please. Konami. Oh my gosh. What is going on with this game today? Wow. Pandemonium. Alright, here we go. That's gotta be something. Alright, at least an SR. And I say SR only because we didn't get a BAM. Alright, we got a UR. We got Slate Warrior. Okay, so that's one UR off of the 10. But we still need a lot of SRs, actually. So we definitely can't reset the box because... Oh, there's Mysterious Triangle. So that's for the alien support. Brainwashing Beam. So I think we got two SRs and one UR so far in the 36. Still a lot to go because we were at like 21 SRs. <laughs> And then the 10 URs. All right, here we go. Bam with the blue outline, which is probably going to be an SR. And it, oh, no, it is. All right, another crappy UR. Ties of the Brethren. So, still pretty pretty trash there. Because it's not what we're looking for. I'm not saying that card is trash yet. I'm just saying I don't want it right now. Because I'm looking to build the water the uh, fish deck. So. All right, down B is our rare. Another just rare. It's gonna be a mistake and arrest. Alright. We're starting to trickle in some people. Four people watching now. I know when I haven't done duel links in so long, it's like, does Misery even do duel links anymore? I haven't really covered duel links hard since like GX came out, so I completely understand why uh why our streams low numbers. Alright, here we go. Triple Karibo. Four Karibo. Alright, come on. There we go. Blue face. Alright, at least an SR. All right, there we go. There's our second Citadel Whale. All right, we just need one more of that guy, and then we're good to go. Um, nothing there. Yeah. One of the R Ritual Monsters, the Reptiles. All right, just for Panther. All right, there's a four Karibo again. In the last couple of fours, we have gotten an SR higher. There we go. All right, cool. Well, outline, face, SR or higher. Alright, so there is the Gajiki Aqua Mirror. This card is actually really good. It can be used to ritual, to summon any Gajiki ritual monster. Um, and then you can shuffle this card from, from the graveyard into the deck. Target one Gajiki ritual monster in your graveyard return to your hand. So that's really, really good recursion synergy there. If Cyber Angels had a ritual spell like that, they'd be busted as hell. Um, because, you know, they are already busted. So we had a, a rainbow, goal, rainbow, and then... Oh, wow, another Gachiki Mirror. All right, so we pulled two of those already back-to-back, -back, I believe. Two Gachiki Mirrors in a row. All right. So we're knocking out some of the SRs, finally. It's about time, man. It's about time. All right. Brainwashing Beam. All right, looks like another rare. Another rare pack. So I believe, I think we're at like five SRs and one UR from this lot so far. That's what it looks like. And if we don't get a fisherman, we'll just go through the last sale. I believe the next one is the last sale. Um, because we still we still need a lot of SRs. We still haven't gotten um, uh, I can't think of the trap card right now that we need, that we absolutely need. It's like the backbone of the deck. Which I saw Mascarin's video. He only runs one of that. I don't know if that's consistent. Because um, I'm pretty. You can only search with the 1900. Um, the 1900 SR can only get the field spell. So I understand why you won't. Oh wow, that was it. Okay, I thought we had a lot more than that. So we actually only got. So we got five SRs and two URs. So here's our guaranteed SR. It is going to be Citadel Will. Alright, so that's our third copy of that. So we're good on that card. That's not bad. And we got Abyss Soldier. He's actually not terrible. He's actually neat. He's a neat card. So, he actually could work with uh, the fish deck. I can't, I can't remember. I think Mask might have ran one of them in his build. So, alright. This is the last sale, I believe. Which we are going to just go ahead and go into it. Because we still need... Because we haven't gotten any sea stealth attacks. Um, we've gotten um, two Warrior of Atlantis, I believe. Yeah, two Warriors of Atlantis. And then we have gotten, um, we still need, obviously, another Legendary Fisherman. 
So yeah, let's have to go ahead and do this sale, and then maybe we'll get super lucky and we can pull, like, we still need one, two more legendary fishermen, so we have to pull him here, and then we would have to... Oh, dude, I'm looking to build the legendary fisherman a uh, whale deck. That's, that's my goal. I should have hit that before it popped up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking to build that, Dante, is my goal. Alright, so 48 packs, that'll bring us down to 70 left in the box. So we'll definitely go through at least this full run. Um, but I'm hoping we can pull Legendary Fisherman in the last sale, so we can just use some gems to hopefully pull one more copy. That would be great, because we only need SRs outside of that. I think we would only need one of the um, Abyss Soldier. So, but let's see. Alright, 100 Footed Horror. Alright, Alien Shock Trooper. And then there's the Vanilla Archfiend. Yeah, well, not make. I guess you could use Mako. Um, but you actually use the, um, the the guy to search him out, so then you can um, you use the uh, the fish guy to search out the field spell. You run three of him. Plus he's a 1900 meter, so he's really really good. Oh, here we go. All right, looks like a UR. Bam! Hieroglyphics and old gold outline has to be a UR, right? All right, we got another abyss soldier, so we have two if we need to, if we need two. So. Yeah, I don't know what, um, maybe I would play Umirika, um, but probably not because it, I don't think Umirika counts as Umi on the field. I'd have to look at Umirika again. I can't remember. Oh, there we go, Sea Cell Attack, that's our first one. So this card is busted. While this card is activated, you can activate one Umi from your hand or graveyard while Umi is on the field. This card gains the effects. You can activate one Umi from your hand or graveyard. So does that mean you can get Umi back? I guess? I don't know. Um, and then, once per turn, you can banish one water marks you control until the end phase. This turn, this turn, face-up spell trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, even if it leave, leaves the field. So yeah, so you basically get to blink, save your guy, and then this and any other face-up spells you have can't be destroyed. Your field spell, everything. So, so basically, once this card is activated, you can just keep on doing that with a monster, as long as you're not being attacked for lethal, obviously. And then this is the other busted part, the start of the damage step. If your water monster whose original level is 5 or higher battles an opponent's monster, destroy that monster. So it's basically a super rush headlong on crack. So that's why I feel you can't, I'm pretty sure you can't search for that. I would want to run two of those in a deck, because I want to have that, like, first turn, every turn, you know, as, as often as possible. And we actually just got, this should be another UR. It is, or it's Genshi Chan, which I'm not opposed to getting that card. So this guy is, look at the top three cards of your deck, you can reveal one ritual monster or one ritual spell card among them and add it to your hand. Also, after that, place any of the remaining cards on top or bottom in any order. He's a really good utility card. So yeah, yeah, you would be playing Umi archetype cards, of course, for sure. Okay. So, we have our three Citadel Whales, we only have one Legendary Fisherman, so we're still hunting to get that. Let's hope we can pull one in these in this box run. Our reclamation device. Another reclamation device. And Archfiend's Roar. Give me thing now. I don't think there was a hollow. No, nope. hundred foot horror. Alien dip now, okay. Forbidden Arts of the Gichiki. Gichiki Cyclone. Alright. Oh, there's a face. Possible to get something. No, it's just a rare still. Damn, man. Still a lot of crap packs here. I thought we were done with a lot of them. Brainwashing Beam. Alright. Alien Mother, Shadow Knight Archfiend. Alright, here we go. Alright, at least an SR. 
I actually want this to be, oh, oh, here we go. Looks like, yep, our second copy of Sea Stealth Attack, so there we go. All right, so we got at least two of that. So I think for the SRs for um, for the Umi deck, we should be pretty sad. Oh, come on, please be a UR. Please be a UR. Please. No, it's only a phase pop up. Oh, man, it's probably just an SR. Yeah, Archfiend Cavalry. Rats. Rats. Darn it. RMC Hunter. Alright, here we go. Another four Karibo, another shot for an Ultra Rare. Alright, here we go. Rainbow face, so chance for an Ultra Rare. Oh, it's not gonna be it. No, call the Archfiend. Okay. Which is a cool card still. It's a cool card still. Kind of an OTK card. Alright, Imprisoned Queen Archfiend. RMC. Alright. Cell Reclamation Device. Brainwash and Beam. Pandemonium. Okay. Archfiend in General. RMC Hunter again. Can we get something? Here we go. Alright, Hard Woods, Gold Outline. No face! What?! Oh my god, that is like the biggest troll ever. How the hell do we not get an SR at least on that? That animation was the biggest freaking troll. Holy crap. Ugh, man, that sucks. Alright, here we go. Four. Gotta be something now, right? Hopefully. Alright, here we go. Yep, it's gotta be a UR. Guaranteed, it's gotta be a UR. It's a spell card, it means it's salvage, which makes me upset. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it to hell, man. That sucks. Alright, mistake and arrest. Arm Sea Hunter. Alright, here we go. Alright. No! Are you kidding me right now? Okay. At least I didn't get the full on troll. At least I got an SR. Oh, man. I thought there'd be another UR, though. Alright, triple. Come on. Blue face. So probably an SR. Yeah, another cavalry. Alright. Terrafin, Ter Ter King Archfiend. Alright. Oh, face, so possibly an SR. No, just a rare. And that's it. No, we didn't get one. We got only three R's, and then it looks like we got seven SR's. So we get two guaranteed SR's. Um, I actually need to get one more um, Warrior of Atlantis. Alright, we got Kashiki Aquamere, so we got three of those. There we go! We got him! We got a Warrior of Atlantis. So now we just need... Alright, come on, please. Please. Main box logic, you're pretty greedy. Yeah, I am pretty greedy. Alright, let's go. Please. Yes! Oh my god, we got him on the guarantee! Yes! Yes, that means we just have to go through the rest of this box to get the... Uh, to get him in the natural box, because we've gotten him from the guarantee. That is amazing. So we have we have two copies of Abyss Soldier. We have three copies of Citadel Well, three copies of Warrior of Atlantis, and then we have two copies of Sea Stealth Attack, which I don't think we would ever need more than two. So that is awesome. So I'm only going to use my gems right now to build this deck. Um, I don't know if I would build... And then really, that's the main deck. The other deck is Archfiends. So the only other card that, and I did get one copy of this guy, it looks like. So I do have one Archfiend Horror, so I don't know if you'd have to run more than one in that deck. So I assume we have mostly all the rares, like three of, I would assume. Looks like the only one we didn't get was that one, what was it, one alien? Yeah, okay. So maybe we'll get one more copy of him in these packs here before we reset the deck. Yeah, man, that was awesome. I got Atlantis. On the guaranteed SR and the legendary fisherman, that was that was dope. That was super dope, and I should be able to build this deck now. And deck looks super stupid fun too. So, all right, looks like we're starting off with an SR. And we got the ritual monster. If you should be mind Augustus, so you can summon this with any Gigi ritual spell card. When it's ritual, summon target five cards in any graveyard, shovels in the deck. I don't think that ritual set of monsters is not that great, in my opinion. Just my opinion, but all right. Cosmic horror, alien telepath. All right, downbeat. 
You see me mirror again. Damage diets. One rare fish. Which rare fish? Which one are you talking about, Dante? I'm pretty sure I have three of all the rares. Pandemonium. Damage diet. Okay. Um, Alright, so we got an SR there. Which rare fish? I'll go through... Which rare fish are you talking about? Oh, I actually only pulled one alien shock trooper. That's actually pretty funny. I guess I should go in to get three of those, actually. Oh no, that's Cars main box. Let's go to Cars we own. Oh yeah, I got five of those. I'm trying to understand. Dante said I have only one copy of something. I don't think that's right though. Yeah, like the only rare I don't have. Oh, this guy. Spin Gilman. All fish types. Oh, okay, the Spin Gilman is what you're referring to. I only have one copy of that. Okay. Well, let's hope we pull a couple. <laughs> At least one. I don't know if I'd run him though, to be honest. So. I'm going to that. I'm actually going to go to Mass Aaron's video real fast just to see his skeleton of what he ran. I'll we'll have to go through these pulls real fast. Oh, here we go. Alright, maybe uh, you are. Oh, cool. We got a second copy of Archfiend Emperor. Alright, cool. I'll take that. Okay, so he runs. One legendary ocean, one um, sea stealth, three fishermen, one abyss, two only two whales, three warrior Atlantis, three hammerhead sharks, one princess, and then two Yomi ship. So he can only target with hammerhead shark. He can only target Yomi ship and the princess. So we got another axe of fools, unfortunately. Um, and then he runs three of the, the Mori jar. I guess for consistency. I guess that makes sense. So, I guess I'll try out his skeleton, but I like having... I would want to run two of the guy that returns stuff to the hand. That card seems really busted, actually. So. Alright. Let's go back to... Alright, there's our alien telepath. So, that makes three of that. So, the only rare we don't have, I believe, is going to be the... Oh, here we go. Rainbow Face. Can we get it? Oh, no. Power Breaker. Alright. Power Breaker. There's a blue outline. Cheeky Beast. Alien Hypno. There we go. Four Karibo. Can we get a UR? Gold face, probably an SR. Power Breaker again. Back to back Power Breakers. There's the Gilliman. We got two now. Only one more to go. Alright. 50 packs left, so it's going to be within the next 2,500 gems before for sure getting this fisherman. Let's go ahead, go in one more time, one more time, see what we can get. Right, another device, golden flying fish, 100 foot horror. I just skipped that animation. Bound, bounding D20. There's our third Gilman, so there we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, can this be it? Can this be the legendary fisherman? Can it? No, it's Skull Archfiend. Rats. Darn. Oh well. Pandemonium. I can't complain. Getting that guaranteed, um, the last guaranteed you are from the sale of being legendary fisherman was awesome. So, I'm totally cool with that. 100 foot horror again. I think we only got one SR from this 10 packs. Yeah, one SR. How many SRs are left in the box? Okay, there's four URs and four SRs. So, actually, these next couple packs are going to be pretty fire, actually. It seems like they're going to be pretty fire. So this one is when this card... Oh, yeah, the, when this card delivers an attack, draw one card. If you reveal it, it's a cheeky monster. Look at one card in your opponent's hand. It's okay. I still feel Sephira is better overall. Just because of the archetype she fits in. And that her, um, her ritual spell card gives you built-in protection. So I still don't feel the the Leviathan Ivi, Ivi Chiki is just a 
that great. Oh, here we go. Here's a UR for sure. Because we got four left still. It's Mystic Piper. The one, the UR I honestly don't care about in this set. I don't care about the card whatsoever. That and Salvage I really don't care about either. Oh my god, back-to-back -back URs. Here we go. And they're all monsters. Oh, there's one Ritual. All right, there we go. Legendary Fisherman 2. We are done after these last couple packs. That is awesome. I'll take it for sure. I guess, do I finish it just so I could get... Because I think I only have one copy of the alien card. Maybe I should go just get the one last copy of that just in case. I believe Impact says you need two of it. So I might as well do that. And probably a good chance just to get at least one copy of all the URs at that point. I might just go ahead and do that, we'll see. Here we go. Could be another UR? Possibly? Possibly? Face? No, it's an SR. A Warrior of Atlantis. Alright, another one of those dudes. Because we have, what, there's 30 packs left and there's five... Oh no, I must have gotten... How was I own? How many do I have? Okay, no, I have two Mysterious Triangles already, so, okay. But, I might as well... There's only two URs left in 30 packs. I might as well just go ahead and finish it up. Get two calls of the Archfiend. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. There's only five SRs and URs, so I still have 4,500 gems. I'm okay with that. That's only 1,500 gems at most, so I'll go down to 3,000 gems. I still have a bunch in my box, too. So, here we go. This is going to be a UR, probably. Yep, Water Dragon Cluster, so we get our one copy of that. But you probably only need one because you have lots of things in that archetype to search for itself if it ever becomes a viable deck. So, you probably only need one. With Bonding DH, D20, and the, um, the trap the trap for Bonding as well. Oh, here we go. Should be something here. I doubt it's going to be a troll. Nope. Probably the other, the last you are. It's probably going to be the Ritual. Nope. It is Deuterion, actually. Alright, it's the, the other... The other dino bonding card. Oh my god, are you- Wow! Prince- Oh man, I got trolled. I thought it was gonna be the UR. I thought it was gonna be the UR. <laughs> Cause that's the last UR in the set I saw Prismatic. I was like, oh no way. Oh man, that would've been dope. I wish I could've got like a Prismatic Whale or a Legendary Fisherman now. That would've been amazing. So, and I might build this deck real fast, just do one PvP match, just to see how well it does. Alright, so let's go one more time, because we still have one UR, one SR, and I just want to get them, just to have one, at least one copy of each. And then we'll have, we should have two of all the SRs, so the SRs are pretty well done. Just the URs, if we ever need them for another deck, we'll have to go back in. But we probably won't have to, to be honest, because we did get two Slate Warriors, which I don't know if you'd ever need three, so I got two of those. Um, we got everything for the fish deck, so that's good. All right, let's take a rest. Oh, here we go. This should be the last S. No, we got trolled. Oh, man, we got trolled. We got trolled by that heart. Oh, man, I would be nice if I didn't have to use the last. If all the last 10 packs were just rare, so it'd be really good. But it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going to have to do the last 10. Just eat it. Eat the 500 gems. Yep, alright, so, last one, we, wow, we got no, no SRs or URs there, so let's go ahead and just get to the last two SRs and URs. I had a lot of gems saved up, Dante, man. I had the gems, so I still am going to have a lot left over, so this is going to be, alright, nothing. And then we'll build the deck real fast and jump in and keep some PvP. Alright, it should be the... No! Okay, it's called the Archfiend. Alright. It's... I'm gonna laugh if it's the very last pack is the, uh... The Ritual Monster. Alright, here we go. I, I want this to actually be the very last pack. Is it? No, it wasn't. Alright, never mind. It wasn't the very last pack. Alright, so the rest are just gonna be rare. So let's go through it real fast. We'll build the deck. Jump in one game real fast. 
Um, and see how it goes. So let's see, if we're gonna use a skill, hmm, I'm trying to think what would be the best skill. Maybe balance? If we're running two of the traps, how often would that ensure we draw it? I don't know. Let's go ahead and we'll go, let's go and use Bakura. I'm gonna try balance first and see how that goes. So we'll go and get rid of this deck. See, see, see if this build is consistent on our first draw. If not, we may run restart. So well, let's go ahead and we'll try balance first. Let's see how it works. So obviously we're gonna run three of this guy. We are gonna run. We'll start with one of him. See how that plays out. Um, so let's sort by. So now we need stealth. So I'm gonna write two of those. Let's try. I believe it's Mori. Is the no? Oh, Mori. I think it only has one Mori. That's why I can't spell word crap. Yeah. That's what shuffle two water monsters in your hand, draw three cards. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna run two of those. Um, and then we need obviously the Citadel Whale. So whale. So if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can tribute two water monsters, special summon this card. You can only use the Citadel once per turn. If this card is special summoning, you can set one C self attack corrupted. Oh, that's why you only need one. Okay, that totally makes sense. Okay, that makes sense why you only need one. Okay. Alright, I did not read his full effect. <laughs> I did not read his full effect. Alright, that totally makes sense. Alright. So let's go ahead and get Umi. Obviously, we need Umi. Oh, so Umi Rika does count. Okay, 500 points. Structures and reduce all the whole bunch players can pick up one. So you do need legendary ocean for sure. It has to be legendary ocean. Because you have to reduce um because you have to be able to reduce the cost of legendary fishermen so he can be summoned without the tribute. Alright. So here we go. Warrior of Atlantis. So you run through those so you can search for your enemy. Then we need um what else am I missing? Let me check real fast. Let me see what else we're missing. Okay. So it's just monsters after that, really. So we'll go ahead and grab, uh, obviously, Hammerhead Shark. Grab three of those guys. Grab three Yomi Ship. I guess we only run two. Yeah, I run two Yomi Ship, and then we can run, and then, yeah, I run two at least. Run two Yomi Ship, and then I guess we can run the one uh, Princess to search for Hammerhead Shark for consistency. I guess that makes sense. So let's try it. So my build will be a little bit different. So he's running, I'm only running two. How is it different? What is he running that I'm not? One Legendary Ocean, one Princess. Oh, he only runs two whales, that's why. Okay. So, but he does, there's no way to search for that. So, that's why I'm gonna run three whales for consistency instead of the two mores. Or I can do. Actually, let's do this. Let's run two whales, three Yomi. Oh, I only own two. Okay, never mind. We cannot do that because I only have two. <laughs> Alright, so we'll run three whales and then we'll go ahead and run. And I actually only own two more of greed too, so I can't even run three uh, greeds. And so then we'll run the princess. So we'll go ahead and run the princess. Alright, let's give that a shot. Alright, so let's give it a shot. So actually, I probably would want to run 
balance. Or, um, restart. Does he have restart? He doesn't have restart. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run restart instead. Cause... He would draw... I guess he would start with one of them? Yeah, let's go ahead and... So let's go ahead and run restart. I don't I don't trust balance with this, because I need at least six spell and track cards. Yeah. And two of them I search for anyway, so I really I think restart is just the better the better way to go about that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and run restart instead. I think that's gonna be better consistency for the deck. So let's go ahead and go to deck editor. We'll copy this to like Pyra. So we'll copy the Kuro's deck. And we'll do this one, sure. Copy. You could use Beatdown too, that's another option as well. To just pump more. Alright, so we'll do whales. Alright, let's get started. Let's see how this goes. Should be pretty good though. Set back. No, set back. Yes. Yes. Gracias. Alright. All right, let's hope we can get in there and get a win. So, see what we can do. All right. <clears throat> Man, this deck is so, this deck seems so busted though. I'm actually pretty excited. Oh, awesome, we get to play against a five in a row King Games play. So he's either playing Gladney's um, Holy Guard, or he's playing, um, or he's going to be playing Dark World. Unfortunately. Because we have, like, okay, so we play, we're playing against Dark World, unfortunately. And we are definitely, I think we, did we restart there? Actually, we have Mori of Greed, so we can shuffle three and draw three. Um... Keep it because I don't want him to see my hand actually. And he's going first, so he can't OTK, so I have the opportunity to try to OTK him. Thunder Dragon. What the hell is she playing? Thunder Dragon. Is she playing. Oh, she probably is using that for Snipe Hunter, Fuel, and Dark World. That's what I would assume that card's for. So we shuffle two water monsters in and draw three cards. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Because we already have what we need with the hammer shark in our hand, obviously. Wow, we still didn't draw what we need. Awesome. Alright, so we'll play Legendary Ocean. Go ahead and play that. A little special summon. Oh, wait, do we have the OTK? Oh my god, we have an OTK. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh my god. I hope she has a Karibo. I hope you got a Karibo, bro. Wow, Legendary Ocean is busted with Hammer Shark. Okay, she had the Karibo though, unfortunately. Oh, that's so lame. She had the Karibo. Let's see if she has game though. Two of the cards are Thunder Dragon, so she has three other cards. In She'll have four other cards in her hand besides Thunder Dragon. So let's see if she still has the OTK. She doesn't have the OTK. <laughs> that's so funny. That's so funny. I actually can't summon this now because it's my guild clock. But that's fine. What do you have? You have Windstorm or Cur Curse of Anubis. Okay, sure. So as long as, as long as she can't OTK me, um, I'd still probably win this. 
Mirage Dra What is she playing? What, what are you playing, girl? What are you playing, girl? Oh, man. That's actually funny. Okay. Oh, she's playing the one of bamboo. Is she playing, like, a mill- a, uh, take a bird deck? This is the most weird deck I've ever seen, actually. This is really strange. Oh, my category was totally off. That's probably why. Um... We got, like, no viewers today. That's awesome. Wow, I just noticed that. Wow, okay. Alright, so she's gonna use bamboo, bamboo shenanigans. Sure, she's gonna turn to her hand so you can talk directly. You have, like, double Ririoko or something in your hand? Okay, no, she doesn't. Cool. Sounds good, man. Yeah, I was like, what, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do. Wow, that's crazy that Hammerhead can actually create an OTK with that. That's, that is legit nuts. That was legit nuts, actually. Wow. I'm surprised we didn't draw a whale, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can get to Legend 2 real fast. I think I gotta win, like, three more, and I can get to Legend 2, and then we'll, then we'll call it a stream. So, I really screwed up because I did not have, uh... Our, our, our category set up on stream. I had it set to Digimon like stone. That's probably why we got no views. So that sucks. <clears throat> okay. Alright, balance. So cybers or um, I'll keep that. That's actually decent here. Uh, it's gonna be either Cybers or it's gonna be, um, whatchamacallit, Cy Cybers or Gladbeats, why am I tripping so bad? Alright, so there's Legendary Ocean. I'm gonna go ahead and Moray here. Even though I have kind of plays, it's not the plays I want. I really want Legendary Fisherman. Um, so I can have protection if he is playing. Okay, perfect. So we drew Legendary Ocean, and then we can play Fisherman. So that was the better play for sure. So now I'm immune to monster effects. So unless he's playing Cyber Angels and he has the Dakini turn one play, which if he has it, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So let's see what he's got. Hope he's playing Glad Beast. If he's playing Glad Beast, he can't. Uh, sweet. So he cannot. Uh, fish me because I'm immune to monster effects. So, oh, but he's gonna super rush me. Of course he will. Okay, sure. Does that affect other monster effects? Let's just like show battle. He's playing. Expect you can add one little monster from back here. All right, so I can search out uh, another whale, which is nice. Yep. So we'll go ahead and grab another whale. So we drew a Yomi ship. Hmm. Trying to see how we get around this. We can't attack in it. He attacks, he kills Yomi ship. We can then target another. So if he has a, if he has a Glad Beast in his hand, he's gonna attack in. I think we play the Yomi. We just set the Yomi ship. Yeah, I think that's the right play actually. Is to just set Yomi ship, and then we can follow up next turn with something. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So that means he won't have any kind of uh, back row. So that's actually awesome. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll kill his... Kills his quarry. He doesn't have a drop in his hand because he would have played it. So he has a small trap card with this field clogged up, which is really good. So we already have that. So let's go ahead... I guess, do we play this? I think we play this, actually. Um, I kind of don't want to attack, because he still will use that for Wall of D. I kind of just want to end turn here. 
I do an enter here. I don't want to run into a wall of D or an econ when I don't have to. Um, if he plays Laquari, if he draws Laquari this turn, so he has to have like a super rush headlong in order for him to make a play. He does draw a creature, so he bricks, which is awesome. So now we can get our whale out finally. We actually really need to draw a more a jar <laughs> so we can uh, put some of these whales back though. And so now we have cards in the graveyard, so now we can um, we can just summon the whale from vanishing cards. Oh no, you have to tribute two water monsters, never mind, you have to have creatures out. So I would be I need a hammer shark actually. So let's see. Is he going to when you when your opponent activates a card, you get the activation you destroy it. What? How do I um, as far as in your hand or graveyard, you can treat two water maps, special summon this card, you can special summon it once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can- Oh, you have to special summon it! Okay, that's why. Dang it, I didn't read- Okay, wow, I misplayed that so bad. I could have played Legendary Fisherman, and then, wow, I misplayed that so hard. I could put Lil Jay Fisherman next to so somebody got self back out this turn, and then I would've, I would've probably controlled this game. Wow. That was a huge freaking display. Okay, so now, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to activate effects. Play well, activate Sega well, put stealth down. And then this is you can set one self attack once per turn, your opponent activates a card that if the targets one monster you control and no other cards put effects and you can make a deactivation. Yeah. So it's a one a one time slasher ability basically, which is really good. So go on, going in. Start getting them to use his back row up. Sounds good. Okay. Now we can activate C Stealth Attack. You can target one in the partner hand or graveyard and one who leaves on the field. This piece of free gains is Okay. Obviously, trigger our whale's effects. Yep. And we'll go ahead and activate sea stealth attack too.
So we'll go ahead and summon a legendary fisherman. And we'll go ahead and attack in. Oh. So yeah, we'll go ahead and activate and we'll banish him and <laughs> get him around Floodgate. Oh my god, it even shits on Floodgate. Oh my god, this deck is busted. I'm not gonna lie, this deck is stupid busted. Wow, this deck is retarded. Pendril attack, sure. So he's gonna target that card, that's fine. So it can't get destroyed, which it was, it was Mumilo, so he's gonna not be able to tag him from Mumilo. And he can't even target this because <laughs> he can't target it. Because it's protected. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, this deck shits on Gladby so hard. I think the only like hard matchup this deck is probably going to have is going to be against Cyber Angels because Dakini still still gets around all the protection stuff. So, but wow, that is so funny that this deck really shits on them so hard. Yeah, Gladby's may just not be a good deck to run in the meta anymore between this and Slash Dragon. That's actually funny. And, it, and the matchup against uh, Stall is pretty bad too, honestly. Because of Lava Golem and Ojama Go. So he's gonna bring in that. Okay, sure. So if he goes after. I guess. I'll wait till he declares battle, and then if he goes after the fisherman, then I'll just blink him away. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of our fisherman so you can't target it. You can't uh, kill it. Oh my god, see, Stealth the deck is beyond busted. And the fact that you only have to run one of it in a deck is crazy. So, oh wow. Alright, so we're just gonna, let's just try to go for game here. So we'll go ahead and discard. We'll do this card well. And then we'll return his fusion into his hand. <laughs> actually, let's return his back row. Oh man, this, oh man, so this card actually answered back row. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, the outs this deck has is crazy. It's so crazy. And you can even put that guy into play. You can put a Bist Soldier into play with Hammerhead Shark. Wow. This deck is so busted. Auto kills it. Fisherman goes in. We know... And the card he has in his hand is a back row, so we know it's not Karibo. So he can't even Karibo a Bist Soldier. Yep. Wow. This deck is dumb. It's like, I, I kind of want to run two Abyss Soldiers, though. I kind of want to run two Abyss Soldiers. I kind of want to take out one Whale for an Abyss Soldier, but at the same time, I'm only running two uh, Greed, so I know that could bite me in the butt, too. So, all right, come on. Let's hope Let's hope we can get another, another win here. Alright, so probably it's either going to be Beatdown um, Hazy, or it's going to be Gears. Hazy? It's probably an okay matchup, actually. Um, yeah, we definitely want to restart that. And that's when you need to, see, need to restart. Unfortunately, he gets to see my hand, so he knows what he's playing against. Oh, wow, okay, we were playing against uh, the Mirror Match. Wow, okay. So this deck is already getting super popular. Alright, so that's going to be a Yomi ship, obviously. So we, we have to use this, because we do not have a uh, Legendary Ocean. So let's go ahead and put back... to. So let's go ahead and put back Yomi ship. And we have to keep Shark, obviously, and Princess. So we'll keep the Whale and we'll keep Hammer Shark. Drop three. Hmm, I was not good, unfortunately. As I can't Hammer Shark here. So I just 
discard whale, I send it back to his hand, or I can hammerhead shark into princess to search for oh Yomi ship. Yomi ship would be a stalemate. Get that off the board. I think I'm just gonna abyss soldier here and get the whale in the graveyard. That was a very unfortunate hand, unfortunately. We did not draw a warrior that landed us in all those draws, unfortunately. That was kinda kinda crappy. So not a very not a very good hand. Um, we bricked really hard there, unfortunately. Ah, <sighs> that's unfortunate. Alright, let's see. Does that affect everybody though? It does. Okay, so now I can go off of his legendary ocean. Wow, okay, that's a very okay. He is not playing the optimized version, obviously. <laughs> obviously. So that's a level four. So we could go Hammerhead Shark into Princess, search for something. 2200. Yeah, that's where our play has to be. And we have to suicide. Um, we have to suicide into Yomi Ship to deal with his board presence right now. So I'm going to activate Princess Effect. Oh, we can't search for that? Why? Oh, hopefully he's just conceding here. Please, please tell me you just conceded, because I just hugely misplay that. I didn't know we couldn't get Yomi Ship. Oh, he didn't concede to it. Fuck. Uh, okay, he conceded. Oh my god, I got lucky there. Because I misplayed. <laughs> I super misplayed. I don't know why Princess I couldn't search for. That's really weird, why I couldn't search for Yoni Ship, but... Cool, we got, like, light boost skill. Oh, we had all kinds of skills. Alright. Hopefully this next one will rank us up and call it a stream. And I know we gotta get we gotta get back on the, the Yugi train and, and really start promoting this more, so... We'll work on it for you guys. Hopefully get our chats bigger and all that good stuff. Alright, cool, yeah, when we gain rank. Alright, come on. So it's gonna be mind scan most likely. Balance! Okay, 23 card balance deck. It's a hand. I'm not really liking that hand. Oh, wait, no. My hand's perfect. Yes, because I can get. Oh, yeah, I have the combo on turn one. Hammerhead Shark into. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, Hammerhead Shark into Warrior of Atlantis and then tribute to the well from hand. Get out Sea Sculpt and then you have it locked out. Yeah. It's really good, actually. There we go. Awesome. Alright, so first we go activate, search for Umi, Legendary Ocean. Actually, we can go into doubles too, which is actually really cool. So go ahead and play Hammer Shark, into Hammer Shark, into Warrior of Atlantis. Tribute the two. I guess we tribute the. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep one hammer shark out. So we'll go and go to hammer shark. A hammer shark out of warrior Atlantis. And whale. We'll go ahead and tribute. Hammer Shark and Warrior of Atlantis. Get out our whale. You said it a whale to search for the bustedness. We'll attack with Hammerhead Shark first, just in case, because I'm pretty sure it says. Actually, I guess it does. It attacks. Well, he targets anything on the field, so. Unless he has, like, a random wall card or something like that, which he didn't have, so. Go ahead and attack in with our whale. Getting for 25.50. Alright. I'm feeling good. Yeah. I think this is gonna definitely be my deck to climb with. This deck is stupid dumb. 
I'm really happy I went into this set just for this deck, actually. <laughs> uh, and I'm glad I got all the sales. So we still saved like 3k gems. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't really care about Arch Fiends. This deck is so much better. Alright, so we'll go ahead and activate our sea self attack. Because I don't know what, what shenanigans he's going to try to do here. Because it's when you attack, right? It's on the sea self attack. Start the damage check if you're warmer. Oh, it just battles? Oh, wow, that's actually really busted. So you summon a monster, that's fine. <clears throat> and we can even save our handwriting shark if he chooses to go after that. And if he goes after our whale, then your guy's just gonna get destroyed. Sure. All the life gain you want. So you'd have to have two super rushes in his hand. But I assume he's just gonna go for the shark and then I'm just gonna blink it. Oh, he's going for that? Okay. So, sure. Yeah, see, stealth attack. What? Why did it not work? What in the world just happened here? Why did that not work? I don't understand that. At the start of the damage check, if you're a water monster whose original level battles an opponent's monster, destroy that monster. That makes no sense of why that didn't work. I don't understand that. Why that didn't work. Okay. That doesn't make any sense of why that didn't work. Okay, so now it should work, right? This is at the start of the damage step. So... I would have seen you activate, right? No! What? Oh, fuck! Damn it! Yeah, because it's declare attack and damage stuff. Wow, I'm such a new. Wow, I'm such a new. Maybe that's because when he attacked, I didn't declare the effect of sea salt attack, and that's why. That's probably why I screwed up. I don't know. Wow. That's really retarded. That's gonna cost me the game too, because I could easily just kill that that turn. Yeah, he's gonna end it. All right. Ugh, that was super annoying, man. That was super annoying. It's for the original, right? Sir. His original is a five star higher. Yeah. So this guy should still work too. Hopefully, we don't get screwed again. After you declare the stupid attack, it's the second trigger that should trigger then. Let's see. So we'll actually go for this guy first. Get 
but we should still be fine. why it didn't work before. That was really strange why it didn't work before. So it's just an automatic thing. You don't have to trigger it. Okay. <laughs> I never... I, first time I played this card. So, alright. Alright, guys. That's gonna be the stream. We got the Legend 2. That's good for today. So I hope you guys all enjoy. For guys that watch this later on the channel. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new. Like, comment down below what you guys think of the new box set. How your pulls went. Feel free to tweet those at us. And we'll see you guys in the next stream. Later, guys.